Hello, I'm Crafty Patty, and I'm here to show you how I turn these white letters, which spells out the word beach, because I'm all about the beach, into this. I found these letters at Michael's and they were happened to be on sale, so I couldn't refuse to find the letters that would spell out the word beach. These particular ones are the MDF board and they're from Art Minds and they have the little hole in the back so you could hang them on your wall. They feel like they've got a shiny coating on them, so I'm just going to go and rough them up with some 120 grit sandpaper and then I will get back to you and then we'll get started after I finish sanding the rest of the letters. All my paints are mixed using Flood Floetrol. And I'll show you how I mix it if I'm using a very high quality, highly pigmented paint like this one. Or using Liquitex Basic Acrylics using heavy body paint. I'm going to start by adding three ounces of the Floetrol. I'll add in my paint and then I'll top it up with water until I get the consistency that I want. This is very concentrated so I'm only going to add a small amount. I'm now going to add my water up to the four ounce mark. I've shaken that up and I'm just going to do a test for thickness and if it's too thick then I will add some more water. So we're looking for like a nice stream off of the stick. And that's just a little bit too thick so I'm going to add a little bit more water. I want it to run right off the stir stick not come down in globs. Just a little bit more water at a time. And we'll test it again. There we go. We're getting more of a steady stream of that now. That'll be close enough. And paints like Liquitex Basic Acrylics, which are thick body, I'll be adding a lot more of the color to my flow trail. So I've got three ounces here. I'm probably going to come right up to my my four and see what we've got for color. And then I'll come up to four and a half with my water. Mix it up again, give it another test until you've got the right consistency, and that's how we mix up our colors. I'll leave a list of all the, the supplies and all the paint colors in the description box below so I don't uh, waste a lot of time on just telling you all the colors. On this cheaper dollar store paint from Craft Smart, there's two ounces in this little bottle. I put three ounces of Floetrol, added this whole bottle of Craft Smart topped it up with water till I had the consistency that I wanted. So if you want a more intense color, then add more paint. I'm not adding any silicone to the paint, but what I like to do is spray the inside of my cup. So if I'm going to do a dirty pour, just with a one spritz, and I just wipe it out with my paper towel, and then it makes for easy cleanup when I want to take the paint out of my cups because I reuse these cups all the time. My letters have all been sanded and brushed off with a clean ray. I've just set them up on cups close enough together but far enough away that the paint will still drip down the sides. 
And what we're going to do now is I'm going to make a dirty pour and I'm going to do the sand colors on the bottom and I'm going to have it so it's smaller at one end and the sand larger at one end. I don't want it like straight across. And all it's going to be is sand and water. For my beach dirty pour, I've got some white. And this was the suede. And I've got some parchment. And I have a bit of silver. And I'll keep layering those in. I'm going to start at this corner and I'm going to have the beach larger here and smaller down to the sand, I think. And that's just what I'm going to do. So we'll start here and just pour it around. And I'm just going to help it along a little bit, just push it off the corners here. My apologies, I'm sorry, I was focusing on mixing the paint and I didn't uh, have the camera on the whole thing. So I've just taken my dirty pour and I've just brought it all the way along. Now I'm going to come in with my darkest color, one of the colors that I had in the sand mixture here. And I'm just going to come in to the very top here because it's always a little bit darker on the top of your sand. And I'm just going to use my little stick to blend that in a little bit. And now I'm going to pour my water. Again, with the dirty pour in a cup here, I'm going to start with my darkest color. And that is phthalo turquoise. Ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, I'm using a lot of cerulean blue because I like that color, and cobalt teal. bit of white on the top. Didn't mix up quite enough, so I'm going to come back in with some more of the darker colors and finish off my end there. And 
The ultramarine is a little bit uh, darker than my first um, run, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that up in here. And I'm going to come in with my cobalt blue and just do some little touch-ups here. And some of my phthalo turquoise. Rusty stick, do a little tiny bit of blending. And I'm going to come into the excess here and just come up and come in and make sure all my sides are painted. Decided to get a brush, it might be easier for actual painting of the sides. Yes, that works much better. <laughs> and I've just cleaned my brush, and I'll do the same with my size for my beach. Now I'm going to come in with just some white and go along the beach here. With my blow dryer, I'm going to blow up just slightly and then I'm going to blow back again. Now I'm going to come through with just some white on a little stir stick and I'm going to draw in some waves.
And then when you're done with your painting, I like to go around with my brush and just take off those drips. If you have a lot of paint dripping on your support cups, I would suggest that you carefully take off your letter and lift it off and place it on some clean cups so it doesn't stick. And I'm going to do that with the rest of them. When my letters are finally dry, I will go outside and I'm going to spray them with Krylon camera varnish. The varnish is now dry and here's my beach sign. Well, chances are you have noticed splatter on my wall. Some of you may have watched my disaster painting where I took a balloon smash and it stuck on a piece of tape and it exploded and the paint went everywhere. Anyways, enough about that. Today we showed you how to paint letters and I hope I have inspired you to either change it up, do a word beach, maybe a word relax, maybe your child's name, change up the colors, maybe in all oranges, purples, pinks, whatever your desire is. Till next time, bye bye.